How's it going everybody? This is Echo Papa and today we're going to talk about changing the color of a track in your browser using a button. Now let me show you how you would do it normally. You would go through your browser here and you'd select the song that you want. You'd right mouse click on it, bring up the tag editor, come over here to color, select the color that you want, click OK, come back over here, click OK again. Now that color is now in the track in your browser, which is really great. However, sometimes you just want to do it faster, especially if you're trying to process a lot of files at once. We're going to program that color change into a button. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to program this into a custom button, but I'll also show you how to program it into the keyboard because programming it into the keyboard is just a little bit different. So first we're going to right mouse click on this, open up our button editor, browsed file, color. Now in quotations we're going to put the color that we want. In this case let's go ahead and put uh, blue. Make sure that's in quotations and we're just going to call this button, we'll call it blue. Okay, close this out. Now we have a button called blue. So let's go ahead and select one. Select this right here. We're going to click this button. Now that thing is blue. So we did that with just one button press versus having to go through the tag editor. Because I can't leave anything alone, I'm going to use one button to, to change to not one, but two different colors. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. I must click in here. We're going to edit it. This time we're just, we're going to uh, call it color. Now uh, let's come over here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to type in the command holding question mark. Okay, we're going to ask the question and then that's going to ask uh, Virtual DJ, are we holding that button down? Go to the end here. We're going to change this color. We're going to change it to red. Then we're going to put a colon in there and then we're going to put another color. Let's go right here. Browse file color. And do another one. Say yellow. I like the color yellow on my track just because it really makes it pop on the dark background. So we're going to close this out. Now what that's going to do is it's going to ask the question, are we holding the button down? And if we're not holding the button down, if we just click the button, then it's going to make it yellow. Otherwise it's going to make it red. So let's go ahead and click it. Now that that is now yellow. So let's click it. This time we're going to hold it down. We've made it red. So that's perfect. If you find a track that you like, you can just click that button. You can now highlight it as yellow. If it's a track maybe you don't want to play, maybe it's a poor sound quality or something, you can hold it down and make it red. You can do this all kinds of things. Maybe you can make it, say, uh, one color that you want it to be and make a second color, just make it go back to white if you maybe you clicked it on accident. But now I'm going to show you how to map it into the keyboard because mapping it into the keyboard, if you want to do it with two colors like that, is going to be slightly different. So let's go up to settings. Go up to controllers and go up to your keyboard. Now I've already mapped it and I've mapped it into Q. Now here's what's different. The only thing different here is instead of holding, we're putting it is repeat because uh, Virtual DJ doesn't see holding down a keyboard stroke as uh, holding it down. But because what uh, a keyboard character will do is it will sit there. If you've ever held it down, say in a word processor, so you hold down the T button, it'll go T, 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 T over and over again. So uh, it asks the question, is it repeating, which is the same for the keyboard as holding. So that's what, uh, uh, that's what we're going to put in there is we're going to change that holding to is repeating if you want to map it into the keyboard. However, if you want to map it into a controller, you can use it exactly like we did with the custom button. So anyway, I hope that helped you guys out. If you want to get a hold of me, you can find me on Twitter at DJ Echo Papa. If you liked this video, please click the like button. If you really liked it, share it with your friends or better yet, subscribe. Until next time, I'm Echo Papa, and I will talk to you later.